chemotherapy safety, both in handling, administration, and education is extremely important, not only for the safety of the patient, but also the safety of all staff members, including nurses. Uh, at Smilo Cancer Hospital, we have, we have traditionally followed the ONS uh, certification for safe handling uh, for chemotherapy. Uh, we've added an, a, an additional component to that, which is using simulation uh, to monitor uh, how nurses are handling double checking chemotherapy and also the administration uh, of, the, of the therapeutic agents. Uh, it's required of every single nurse uh, after they've been on the unit for a while to go through that certification course. Uh, they're monitored both in, in a testing situation and then also in terms of their actual practice. And that is renewable. Uh, every couple of years, uh, and every, certainly every year as far as competencies, that it's, it's that important. Nurses are not allowed to administer chemotherapy if they have not gone through uh, that course. And it is a lengthy uh, process in terms of really making sure that you're going through multiple steps to assure that the exact appropriate dose of the right medication is being administered in the right fashion for the right patient at the right time. Um, another part, it's also, it's, it's equally important that the patient understands all of those steps that you go through. Oftentimes patients will come in and make an assumption that the chemotherapy comes in a prepackaged bottle that's on the shelf and they wonder why they can't just come in and get hooked up just like a gas tank and get their, get their therapy. So I think uh, an, uh, an equally important component is the nurses and pharmacists responsibility to educate the patient about how unique each and every preparation of every medication is so that it is a safe administration and a therapeutic administration for patients. Uh, and I think that that part is sometimes the, the patients don't get that part.